1958, two newlyweds were hauled out of their bedroom in the middle of the night and taken to a jail in Caroline County, Virginia. Their crime? Richard Loving was white, Mildred Jeter was not. An interracial marriage was against the law at that time. Their story and the resulting landmark Supreme Court case is the subject of the recently released film Loving. Our next guest is a Virginia Tech professor who was consulted by the filmmakers and recounts the story in his recent book, Race, Sex, and the Freedom to Marry. We want to welcome Peter Wallenstein to the show. Great to have you. Great to be here. Yes, yeah, so you wanted me to, to downplay the fact that you were consulted. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it wasn't a formal role, but I talked to casting people, I talked to the writer-director, and I had this magical conversation with... I, I addressed her as Mildred. Mm -hmm. In real life, I think she goes by Ruth Nega, but in the film, she's in Mildred. The film. And she was in costume and character as herself, uh, as Mildred. I was in costume and character as me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you knew Mildred, the actual I, Mildred. I, I'd met Mildred many years I before. Uh, the new book I began when I came back from her funeral. Um, I'd spoken her on, to her on the phone, it was our first conversation, and I just loved the way she described what had happened to her. It was horrific, of course. Sure. But the, 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 the experience itself, the words she used, uh, the, the accent, the voice, it was pretty impressive. Really? Yeah. What she told me in that first phone call made its way into the book. Right? I mean, the way in this she, book right here? Yes. Okay. The way she described her experience, especially that night when the thud door oh, came banging down, right, right. hauled off to prison. That's incredible. And this case lasted a, a long time, didn't it? It took nine. The, the Supreme Court victory was really a ninth wedding anniversary present for wow, them. Wow, was it really? <laughs> yes. That's incredible. And um, you were telling me a little bit that you, uh, as we are approaching the 50th anniversary, uh, the significance of this to our region is pretty profound, isn't it? It's pretty profound across the entire sure, nation, right. uh, to be sure. But among the many people who rode in to the funeral home when, when Mrs. Loving died, one wrote from uh, Roanoke, and this was, what, uh, nine years ago now. And she said, you know, I never knew what had made it possible. My, the love of my life, my husband and I, I never knew that we couldn't have gotten married. Isn't so, that incredible? Mm -hmm. So they have had 30 years of what she's clearly describing in very positive terms and she never faced never knew she might have faced getting hauled off to prison in the middle of the night yeah right now or any other time right day, right yeah. exactly but did you see the movie and oh, is yeah. it pretty accurate the film is really well done mm -hmm. um the writer director jeff nichols and i had what i thought to be a really um, substantive conversation uh, and i came away respecting his need to make choices as to how to move some facts around and what to leave out and such. Mm -hmm. But at least he was asking the right questions. He knew what he was doing. He had respect for the story. And he's a filmmaker. And he made it happen. Okay. There are really very few false steps in that film. I thought it was very okay, well done. Okay, so we'll have to check it yes, out for sure. Definitely. You have the book, and that's available if people want to oh, yeah. purchase it. And you're also speaking locally a little bit about all the book and the movie the all over the place this afternoon if you can make it at the Glebe in Daleville today at 2. Yep. But then if you can't make that, um, next week you'll be uh, speaking at Odd Fellows Hall in Blacksburg. Um, and what time is that? That's at 6. At 6 p.m. Yeah. Okay. And if people want the book, where can they find it? Uh, I go to Amazon and check how they're doing. Okay. I always love it when it's the number one bestseller on marriage law. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Peter, thank you so much. I wish we had more time to talk with Me you. Me too. But I appreciate you coming on the show. Great to be here. All right. There is much